Hello everyone, this is continuation of my previous video that was about container networking in Kubernetes. I was using Flannel as an overlay network for my cluster, and this time I'd like to add Calico on top of it. Calico is one of the most frequently used network plugins as it enables defining network policies, which are very powerful tools for isolating workloads on your cluster. I will cover those in second part of this video. But first, what does it mean to have Calico on top of Flannel? Both can be used independently, but Flannel is the oldest one and relatively simpler, so it was often the way to go. When Calico brought network policy capabilities, the idea of joining those two projects came up under the name Canal. But it turned out that there is no need to have separate projects for it. With existing functionality, those two could work one next to the other. But name remained. Now Calico is based purely on routing. There is no assumption of shared layer 2 network. So what it's doing? is syncing routing and IP tables among cluster nodes. In kernel setup, Calico operates only per node, so its only goal is to provide connectivity to pods, while internode communication is achieved using Flannel that spreads common layer to network over them. Alright, let's see how it looks like in practice. I'm already logged into my cluster to one of the workers, uh, so we can first list the interfaces. And as you can see, we have again Docker 0 interface, but it's down, so it's not used. We have a Flannel 1 VXLAN interface. And for virtual Ethernet interfaces that are connected somewhere, and as you might know from the previous video, they, they are usually connected to the container namespace on the other side. But we can check it now. So let's list the network namespaces first and as you can see we have one namespace for for particular pot so we can also check if this is for sure one of the containers and it is this is a particularly harbor registry that I was playing around uh, recently so this is the namespace from this particular container. So we can try to also list interfaces from this namespace. So let's copy the name and run the interfaces. And as you can see, this is the other end of this uh, virtual Ethernet interface. As you can see, those are matching so this is exactly the IP that Harbor Core is seen by the other pods in my cluster. And now if we view the routing table, we can see that this IP is directly uh, routed via routing table. So there is no bridge, uh, there is no connection over layer 2. Calico is just injecting the uh, rules into IP routing so that uh, all the packets that come to the uh, to this particular worker are forwarded to this interface which is exactly one end of the virtual Ethernet tunnel which is then pointing to the uh, to the actual container so this is how it works in Calico setup as you can remember in pure flannel we had a bridge here and all the containers were basically connected to this bridge okay we have calico in place working as expected so we can now create some network policies so create network policy we need to have answer to those three questions uh, so which pods are affected by the policy are we talking about connection to or from the pod and which pods are whitelisted so if we take a look at the very basic network policy that is by default denying all the traffic, we first see that we have namespace defined. So it will be the namespace affected by this policy. Uh, then in spec, there is a pod selector uh, where we define which pods are affected by the policy. And uh, those curly brackets that are used here are somehow working as a wildcards so we can say that all the pods in particular namespace are affected then we say that we do it for policy type ingress so all the traffic incoming to the pod 
and there's nothing defining whitelisted pods. So basically we are saying there is no pods privilege to communicate to any other bots, so we are denying all the traffic. Then there is an example of allow all policy. And in this case, there is section ingress, where we are saying that all the pods can communicate to all the pods from this namespace. Again, we are using curly brackets as, as a wildcard for selecting uh, pods. And the third example is a little bit more complicated. What we are trying to achieve here is to isolate particular namespace. Uh, so again, we are saying that uh, this policy affects all the pods in default namespace. And then we say that we are talking about ingress and the allowed pods to communicate are the ones from the namespace. So uh, everything that works in default namespace can communicate with any other pods in the same namespace. And the second from, we are saying that all the pods from namespace with label NSID cube system can also communicate to those pods. And this is useful uh, whenever you like to, for example, allow traffic from ingress controller or any other or core services in your cluster to be able to connect to pods in default namespace. It's also worth mentioning um, how the rules are merged or ordered. Uh, so basically there's no ordering. All the rules from policies are linked using OR operator. So if any pod falls into a particular rule, it's just whitelisted and it's allowed to communicate. And same with uh, other policies. So if we have more than one policy, uh, all the rules from the policy are just checked one by one. And if any pod is whitelisted, it can communicate. Let's try creating some policies on the live cluster. So I already have some pods um, deployed in my default namespace. We can get the endpoints from it. So this is basically a harbor deployment. I will be focusing on Harbor Core, and here we have three IPs that, that are available. Those are three pods on different workers. So let's try to reach first of it, and just to check if everything is fine without any policies applied. So we can just try to reach the endpoint and as you can see it's returning unauthorized so we can connect to the uh, to the pod but we are not authorized by any credentials but that's enough to show that and the connection is there so let's now apply the uh, namespace isolation policy this is exactly the same uh, i was showing seconds ago so we, the goal is to isolate traffic uh, outside the namespace so that only pods within the same namespace can communicate with each other. So if we do kubectl apply, namespace should be there. And we can once again try to reach it. And it's working from the, uh, from the same namespace. But if we now try to run the busy box in another namespace, for example, test namespace I created, if we try to run it again, you can see that communication is blocked. So we cannot get to the to the harbor core pod uh, we can also try to start the container in cube system namespace and once again try to reach it and we are blocked but we shouldn't the problem is that we didn't yet apply labels on the cube system namespace so even though in the policy we should be able to communicate with with this rule but 
there's no msid system label applied on the cube system namespace so let's fix it now We'll apply name label on namespace cube system with value this one and here we can now try again and we are getting the response so the the connection is again possible after labeling the namespace there's still one thing missing in this whole setup if you try to reach the harbor endpoint from the browser so try to reach the ingress uh, from outside of the cluster it turns out that it's not reachable because uh, Calico is not aware of the flannel network that is connecting all the nodes and it's not like letting in all the external traffic that is going through the funnel IPs of the Ethernet interfaces of each of the nodes. So we should see timeout here. So we can try to fix it. I already prepared policy that should fix it. And it's here. So this time again it's made for all the pods in default namespace and it's it's opening ingress part and uh, in from block we are just adding all the ips of the different nodes in my cluster those are exactly the same ips that are uh, attached to the flannel interface on each of the node so if you let this traffic in it should be possible now to get to harbor pod from from the outside using ingress I will now apply this policy and I can now try again. And as you can see, now everything is working fine. You can reach the harbor portal.